In a small, cozy town filled with bustling markets, friendly faces, and laughter-filled streets, there was a little community garden nestled between two houses. This garden was tended by two neighbors, Mrs. Green and Mr. Bloom. Mrs. Green loved to grow vegetables, carrots, tomatoes, and lettuces, while Mr. Bloom was passionate about flowers, especially roses and daisies. Despite sharing the garden, Mrs. Green and Mr. Bloom seldom spoke to each other. Mrs. Green thought flowers were a waste of space, while Mr. Bloom couldn't understand why anyone would grow vegetables when they could plant beautiful flowers instead. One summer, the town faced a severe drought. Water was scarce, and the community garden began to wither. The vegetables drooped, and the flowers lost their vibrant colors. Mrs. Green and Mr. Bloom became even more frustrated with each other, blaming one another for taking the remaining water for their own plants. One evening, as Mrs. Green was trying to save her wilting carrots, she overheard Mr. Bloom talking to his flowers. He wasn't just speaking, he was encouraging them, telling them stories to keep their spirits up despite the drought. Mrs. Green realized that Mr. Bloom cared for his flowers just as much as she cared for her vegetables. The next morning, Mrs. Green approached Mr. Bloom with a proposal. I see how much you love your flowers, she said. I love my vegetables just as much. Maybe we can find a way to save our garden together. Moved by Mrs. Green's gesture, Mr. Bloom agreed. They decided to share the water they collected from their rain barrels, giving just enough to each plant to help it survive. They worked together to create a more efficient irrigation system, saving every drop of water they could. As they worked side by side, Mrs. Green and Mr. Bloom began to share gardening tips, stories about their lives, and even plans for the garden. Mrs. Green learned the names of all the flowers, and Mr. Bloom discovered the joy of growing his own food. By the end of the summer, the drought had passed, and the garden was thriving more than it ever had. Vegetables and flowers grew together in harmony, creating a beautiful tapestry of colors and smells. But the most beautiful thing in the garden wasn't the plants, it was the friendship that had bloomed